Quantum computers are entirely different technology. There's nothing like conventional computers. They're relying on the strange phenomena of, of quantum physics. But rather than just looking at these phenomena, we try to tame them in order to build a machine that is now capable of solving certain problems where even the fastest supercomputer in the world would take billions of years to calculate. That's a whole class of problems that contain many unknown variables, such as cancer treatments, forecasting weather and climate change, online security, both for generating security and breaking encryptions, optimizing traffic flows, predicting financial markets, and even gaming. Imagine you have the world's worst memory stick, a memory stick with only two bits, right? So imagine, for example, you write 0, 1 into your memory stick. Well, your memory stick is full. It's, it's done. Now imagine you have a quantum memory stick with two bits instead. In two quantum bits, I can simultaneously write in two quantum bits 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, and that all at the same time. Now that doesn't really sound that impressive, right? So imagine, for example, you have a, a memory stick with 100 bits. I can write in one 100-bit number into my memory stick. But in a quantum memory stick, so if I have 100 quantum bits, now that's the number of different numbers I can encode into this quantum memory stick. So you can see how massively large the number of different numbers is I can encode into these just 100 quantum bits. Mm -hmm.